Blueberry. And we're back, folks. Welcome to the Shelter Channel. Today, we are going over yet another tip, trick, and training hack. That's right, folks. This is a pre-leaving for Spain tip. And it's going to be a short one at that. I promise you it's going to be a short one. It might not be a short one. It's going to be a short one. This is my secret sauce. This is, um... Well, it's a very special tip. One that I keep near and dear to my feet. That's right. I said it. I'm not ashamed. Feet. To my feet. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. What am I doing? <laughs> Hey, welcome back, folks. Yeah, that was weird. I've been here for hours now. The sun is going down. You probably can't even see my face anymore. Sorry, this is just a poor excuse for a YouTube channel at this point. I failed you. I failed you. But before I leave you for Spain, that was a bug. That was a big, ugly bug. I want to talk about my secret sauce, as I mentioned in the beginning, my secret tip. Secret sauce is probably a bad way of putting this. But what I do in preparation, aside from, you know, rucking, training with weights in my backpack and weights on my sticks. That's something I do as well. Uh, yeah, I actually invented these things called stick weights. I know, it's crazy, it's eccentric. That's why you're here. That's why you love what we do here. But this is it, like a week out before I go, or I prefer a week out to do this, but sometimes that doesn't work out. And my last Camino, I actually did this as I was flying out, I flew from Arizona to New Jersey, so you fly out of Newark. I hate Newark. You probably hate Newark too if you've been there. Not the, the the town or city of Newark, but the airport. I don't know what's going on there. Do you know what's going on there? If you know what's going on there, leave it in the comments below. Anyways, I had them take me to a salon. Not for my hair, but a pedicure. I know, I know. It's not in vogue for men, really. Oftentimes, Women will try and bring their man, their man with them to get a pedicure. Like, that's going to work. But, you know, I'm, a, I'm the opposite. I bring women to get pedicures with me. I encourage them to. And I encourage you to as well. It's actually, it's really important. If you're not already going to a podiatrist, uh, and you've been training really hard, and maybe you're not a hiker, this is the second best thing, if not better even. This is the combination of, like, I'm not, I, I won't compare it to a podiatrist exactly, but it's somewhere inspecting your feet. So I'm going to get a close look at your feet and what's going on. And if there's something going on, be it like a rash, an infection, an ingrown toenail, something that you might have more problems with while hiking for the next four weeks or however long you're doing the trip for, they're going to catch that right then and there. So that's why I like to do it a week out. I also like to do it a week out too because in case I get nicked as I clean the toenails. Never happened to me. I've always had a great experience, but it could happen, right? Mm. It gives my body time to heal before I get on the trail so I'm not hiking with any, any cuts or anything like that. But it's awesome. I mean, I've had ingrown toenails in the past growing up, uh, just different foot things. But after my first pedicure that I was talked into, but actually someone was talking to me about it and I was like, come on, I'm a man. <laughs> but I thought about it more and more as I was training and thinking like about my feet. Why not? So I tried it out and lo and behold, it was amazing. My feet felt like they could breathe afterwards with all the poking and whatnot, like they're opening up parts of your foot that don't often breathe like they do after a pedicure. Then there's the light massage, there's the, I mean, that could be hot stones, whatever you opt for when you're getting a pedicure done, uh, go big, why not, treat yourself. Because it really does make a difference, especially if you've been training hard. Reward yourself with this because your calf's gonna be swollen and everything else, I mean, that said, you know, if you are training hard, remember to taper off two weeks before the trip too. You'll hit the trail strong and ready not exhausted and sore with your muscles in a state of recovery. You want them recovered by the time you get there. So this is another recovery hack, if you will. A week out before you uh, hit the trail, before you hit the Camino, get the pedicure done. It, again, there's often a mess. light massage, sometimes a heavy massage, depending on the, again, what you pick off the menu when it comes to pedicure, but get the pedicure done. And then some people often ask, you know, like, but what about the calluses, though? You want to keep your calluses. You don't want to keep your calluses. While it's okay to have a, some light callus, I keep saying light, but a little bit of callus, you don't want calluses when you're hiking. 
I know, it sounds like it it's just it doesn't sound intuitive at all. But trust me, you don't. Because if you've ever gotten a blister under a callus, you know exactly why. It's impossible to get at with a pin Killing or me. a knife in some cases. It's just, it's tough to get at and they feel huge. It's painful to walk on. Blisters under calluses suck. So get rid of them. Start fresh. You really do want soft, supple, moisturized feet at the end of every day. But especially before you go there, you really want to take care of these feet. They're carrying you all the way to Santiago or Leon or Burgos, wherever you're hiking to. So pedicure, I'm telling you, it's amazing. And also you can get one probably mid Camino too. If you've enjoyed it the first, if, if you enjoyed it before you got there, when you get to Burgos or Leon, depending on what day you get there, maybe you want to do a little homework beforehand because you need homework that is. and find where they're doing pedicures. I never could find one. Actually, I located a couple in Leon, but it was a Sunday I was there. So we couldn't, me and some friends just couldn't do it. They, I had to show them. I had to teach them the way. But uh, yeah, alas, none were open. But pedicures, that is a huge, huge tip that's gonna get you a lot further. Your feet are gonna thank you. You're gonna feel awesome. And, and the re relaxation and stress relief part of the whole, especially if you're not used to these things or never been to a spa or a mas masseuse, do they still call themselves that? If you've never been to one of those things, it's so key, especially when you're already amped up, you're a little stressed, you get some anxiety from the trip. Maybe this is your first Camino. This is, a, this is a really great me time moment. I know, like you need more me time. Your feet will be ready now. You've worked on the mind. You've worked on the body. Hey! And now it's really, well, I guess the feet are part of the body. But you know what I mean? You, these are the, they're doing all the work. They're doing literally all the heavy lifting. Treat them well, and they'll treat you well. So pedicure, folks. I don't see that a lot, and I don't know if I've ever seen them in the form of people talking about it. At least of all a man talking about it. But pedicure. Repeat after me. Head, 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 head. That's it, folks. That's my tip, trick, and hack for today. If you like today's content, please like no. and subscribe. No. I don't know if these buttons are here or they're there. All right, here we go. Subscribe. Yes. Like. Yes. And comment below if you have your own like pre-trail ritual or treatment or something close to that. I'm dancing. I'm Hopefully thematic dancing. in regard to the Camino de Santiago. Leave it in the comments below. Well, maybe not. Maybe you want to talk about something else. Doesn't matter to me. Comment below. Like, comment, and subscribe. We really, really appreciate that. Until next time. <laughs> Doing myself. Well, come on, come on.